Hello and welcome to Helsinki. Yep, that's right. I've moved in the middle of a global pandemic from London to Helsinki. right. I've moved from London to Helsinki in the middle of a global pandemic, which is arguably not the best time to be organizing an international move. But nonetheless, here I am uh, sitting at the moment in my parents' kitchen, um, self-quarantining at the moment. And I just thought I'd make this video because I kind of feel like I have to explain a little about this life change and why I moved uh, right at this time. <laughs> Um, before I can sort of start or continue making my normal videos with photo tips and all that creative jazz um, Creative jazz, what? So yeah, just wanted to share this a little bit and the whole stress <laughs> of it I'm just so relieved it's all done now so I can finally talk about it <sighs> All right, so where do we begin? Um, last summer already I started to feel quite homesick and I've always been uh, coming back to Finland for you know, uh, maybe every two or three months or so uh, to see my family and just friends But lately I've just started to feel even more homesick and with all the stuff that is going on in the world right now Feeling I guess that those things that we always kind of tend to push forward like oh, but I'll do it later or uh, um, I just started to feel like no this is where I want to be right now and I also feel like ready for some new things in life and just a little bit of a change of location and so I decided to move back right now and uh, organizing it was really uh, stressful because uh, of course a lot of the normal services and even just taking a flight home suddenly when everything stops and like the whole world has just stopped in some sense um, but I managed to get a, a moving company that came to pick up my stuff about a week ago and they are now storing it first and then it will be driven with a big truck with lots of different moving uh, things uh, or moving, what do you call it, halls? Moving like all kinds of different people's stuff, I assume. <laughs> and then when the truck will arrive in Finland sometime um, next month. Uh, and for now I'm just staying here at my parents place and I have Luna and Bella with me and that was a huge stress for me as well because when we moved to UK um, with the cats you're not allowed to bring in uh, animals in the cabin um, so they had to move or they had to travel in the cargo but now because of corona uh, you aren't allowed to put any pets in the cargo so they were allowed to travel with me in the cabin <laughs> but I was still super stressed about you know the right cage measurements and how they would cope with that and being together in such a tight spot or space uh, for so long but luckily everything went fine and we're all safe here now in quarantine but yeah I was just really stressed about it and I didn't also want to share so much about it on social media just because I felt like it's one of those things when you kind of have to focus and just try to keep your head cool um, it's just easier to talk about it when it's all done and not in the moment so um, that's kind of why it came I suppose as a big surprise <laughs> also and that I've been hiding this almost like a secret <laughs> Jag har just börjat filma så jag kan egentligen inte prata just nu men det var det något speciellt du ringde så många gånger <laughs> The other day I was talking to my mom and just thought like what happened? I was living this influencer, lifestyle, content creator, youtuber, instagrammer, chicka chicka cha lifestyle in London and now basically gone back to living in my little sister's bedroom in my parents apartment um, that's not <laughs> what I was planning to do uh, at the age of 32. All right, it's snowing in May, but here we are. And I guess the life lesson is that you never know where life will take you. Um, and also I guess some personal stuff, some heartache things um, that just led me to come back here and try to find my feet a little bit again and land um, and yeah, I don't know. It's kind of weird everything right now and I honestly don't know 
what's gonna happen like my plan I've been super focused also on just like work and getting this career and getting to a place where I can do this work like that is I'm so grateful for but I've also worked my ass off <laughs> to get this YouTube channel and the Instagram stuff going that I can actually make a living of just doing something that I'm really really uh, interested in and passionate about but right now it feels like I need to also I guess grow as a human and have other stuff in my life than just work um, so gonna definitely continue working but I also need like other adventures or other things and just I don't know this is so cliche but like find myself or, or something like that I don't know um, and that's basically why I'm here now hmm. not sure if you can see me <laughs> I do think there is something really nice about being back in the city where I have so many memories that's the one thing I felt always when I had lived abroad it's really nice that you live in a new place because you get to explore and there's all these new things to see and experience but you are still always a foreigner and an outsider to some extent um, and I just really miss that feeling of like a deep connection to a place like here when I walk around the streets I see my old school uh, memories of you know bad dates <laughs> and um, just events that happen in my life and different phases and I think that just gives this more rich uh, experience of living in a place and building up those memories take time and years so I really like that aspect of being being back here also I think if you just continue in the same old same old like even in the kind of photos or the creative stuff I do then that will also be a little stagnant so I also feel there I want to push myself and get new influences and new ideas and also to continue to grow as a human oh this all sounds so super pretentious but I don't know you hope I I hope you know what I mean and that you don't think I'm just being super annoying and like self-indulgent and self-centered I guess to anybody who's facing at the moment maybe big life changes or trying to make up their mind about some big decision I am the super I, I'm so indecisive when it comes to big life changes and even though I have I feel like a pretty strong sense of my intuition and what God tells me I'm sometimes I get really bad at listening to that and just afraid of what will happen um, and this took me so long even though I had this feeling for quite a long time and of course you also have to let things just evolve organically and let things take their time but if you're struggling with big life decisions um, I I feel you and I do think that in the end you tend to know what is best and what you have to do but sometimes it just takes so long to get there um, but trusting yourself and trusting your instincts and doing things even if they're super scary like I don't know I don't even know like will I find as much work here now when I'm not in London anymore and all these things like I just don't know I'm just gonna hope for the best and still try to do my best and and uh, continue creating so yeah this was a little bit of a different video I suppose like a little diary I don't know I hope you <laughs> don't mind um, and that this can be provide some value or maybe make you feel less alone also in these like weird times we're all just sitting indoors I literally now can't even see my friends yet um, because I have to be in quarantine so um, yeah I guess it's just one of those times in life where we have to be kind to ourselves and even if like can't be so productive and I think we all went through this phase like first of the lockdown was like ah oh, gonna be productive gonna write that book gonna do that thing and I also went into this super productive mode but now I'm just feeling like the days just turn into this smoosh and I don't know I'm just trying to hey kind of get something done but I'm also not putting so much pressure on myself and just trying to um, reflect on stuff a lot and go for walks and take hot baths and try to eat healthy that's really all all I can do now and knit, knit a lot <laughs> that's always good all right thank you so much for watching this video um, I hope you're staying safe and healthy and that you're listening to your intuition and letting that guide you uh, and if you'd like to see more of my photos you can come say hi I'm with Kudva Kika on Instagram um, and see you next week with hopefully again some more positive photo tips videos or something fun that I'll 
think of. <laughs> All right. Take care. Bye. There's a bee in my bonnet. Hello, hello. A bee in my bonnet. Hello. There's a bee in my bonnet. Hello, hello. A bee in my bonnet. Hello.